I don't like that it takes up oh, that one's out this one shouldn't take nearly as many arrows to take it out Welcome back everybody to ARK Survival Evolved. I'm Know-It-All DM. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great hanging out on my single player. And it is getting night. Which is fine. Um, so the past uh, few episodes I've been doing things, getting ready, going down in the cave, gathering up some stuff. And after the last episode where I went down into the cave and died several times, I spent a bit of time rebuilding my, uh, my stockpile of weapons, getting my, uh, sword back. I rebuilt the, uh, the metal shield that we had lost. I built another crossbow. I built some more wet, more, uh, harvesting tools and the like. But I think that instead of, uh going down there alone, I need to get an adventuring buddy to go down there. Now, the two dinos that we have are, they're all right. I mean, uh, Petunia is great for going and helping me get stone and flint and the like, and Excelsior is a decent combatant, but they're both kind of too big to go into the cave. I mean, Excelsior, yeah, may or may not be able to fit if I took down the, uh, the the this stuff here but but uh probably not because petunias would still get stuck right here so what i'm thinking is that i want to get a smaller dino maybe i don't know i, I want to try to eventually get an ankylo inside so that if i find some good metal stuff in there i can just go down and gather metal from inside the cave and uh, so to that end, I think I want to go ahead and tame an Ankylo. Now it's possible the Ankylo can't, cannot fit through here, which would be a shame. I might see if I can try to ramp it up and over, um, if that's the case, and see what I can do. But I'm gonna want to try to get the Ankylo in here, and I'm gonna have to try to get it past here. Now what I'll probably end up doing is tearing out this upper stone wall and coming through this possibly and trying to get it down through here um i might build like things over to here so i can try to get it out over this way um but we'll worry about that once we have the anki so i think it's time to go uh, get an anki and at the very least with an ankylosaurus if I uh, get it and I go, I can go to the island and get metal from the uh, southern island and I can go get flint and stone from where I normally have, it'll be a lot easier. So getting an Anki is all around a better option. So I think I'm going to try to go get an Anki. Now I want to take uh, either Petunia or Excelsior. I think I'll take Petunia. Petunia has been our adventuring buddy and uh, she's a decent level and uh, the other day in order to get the uh, metal and such to repair my equipment or to rebuild my equipment I built this little raft to get us back and forth from the southern island over there which looks like it has a purple drop on it right now um, and I took Petunia over to the southern island and everything was cool and uh, we gathered up some materials let's get your face out of the sail and uh, then I just brought the uh, raft back over here. So I'm going to take the raft out this way. Ah, that's better. Light it up. Um, I'm thinking I might put like a, a uh, few things on the raft, like a uh, uh, cooking stuff, like a campfire and stuff like that. I might eventually turn the raft into a larger construction building you know, foundations and the like on it to transport larger dinos. Um, but for now, this uh, little raft is fine. I do think I want to put a uh, campfire on there, um, which I might do while we're trying to tame up this Anki. 
but uh let's see oh i'm leaving all my uh taming stuff back at the base ah let's turn around all right and uh, i'm gonna go get the stuff i'm gonna head over to the southern island and i'll brb all right i'm back and i'm on the uh southern island and i've been going around for a bit and uh this is the highest level anky load that i found this here's a low little level four this one's level 11 i killed a couple of uh of ankylos that were three and four and a few other dinos to try to get some to spawn and uh as you can see my uh my uh damage crossbow is now broken but uh i want to try to get this one without aggroing this one but since they're so close together that might not be possible i might have to knock them both out and uh so i'm hoping to be able to draw them back over here where there's a wider area and uh, see if I can get them both. Now that one is the higher level. So let's just come back over this way. It looks like they both are coming after me. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of a uh, running around and avoiding things. Petunia is on passive. I've kept her on passive most of the time anyway. I don't like that it takes, oh, that one's out. This one shouldn't take nearly as many arrows to take it out. Okay, so they're both out. Uh, this one's a female. And they're both female. Okay, so this was a level four. This one must have been the level 11. Okay. Um, in fact, I think I want to go ahead. I'm going to just tame up both of them because I... Because why not? You know, I mean, I've gotten them both here already unconscious. We'll use the low level one probably for gathering here on the island. Um, and then the high level one will try to get into the... Uh, uh, to get into the... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, into the cave. So... I'm just going to go ahead and put some of these on it and uh, it's going to tame up relatively quickly because I've got the taming increased on here just so I don't have to spend forever trying to tame things, but it's not super fast so that I do have to babysit it a little bit. So let's go ahead and get some berries and throw it on this other ankylo over here. Uh, give me those and those. All right. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to sit around making sure they don't, uh, they don't lose all their taming and stuff. And, uh, I'll be back when we get them tamed up. And we're back. And we've already got one Enki popped up over there while I was out gathering some resources. And, uh, this one should take maybe one more eating. Um, and then it'll pop up and it'll be ours. It is raining, it is dark, it is icky, but we're about to get our Ankylo. There we go. Now, what should we name this Ankylo? Uh, how about... Uh, this one is going to be our Cave Ankylo. So we'll call her Delver. And then this one is gonna be our Island Ankylo. Options change name. So we'll call her, uh, Castaway. 
Now, I want to go ahead and get some saddles made up for them, but saddles require the smithy. So, uh, come on, girls, follow me, and we'll head back to the raft, and I will craft up a uh, the stuff for the uh, smithy and the forge and everything we need, and get them some saddles, and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back, and it's been a while. Um, I had to get uh, gather up 260 hide, and well, that took a while. But uh, now we've got the hide, we've got the fire going, we've got some meat on this fire, uh, and we've got some more meat on Petunia, and Petunia's gained a level. Um. Let's just keep pumping her speed. I want to get her movement speed up to 200% before I stop. Uh, let's see. Delver's gained another level. Delver, I'm going to be alternating between health and melee damage because uh, she's going to be going into our uh, dungeon with us. And uh, Castaway over here, I'm just going to be pumping health. Or weight. I mean, pumping weight. So now we've got us a saddle oh and it looked like looks like uh delver laid an egg cool give that to petunia to hold on to petunia is such a nice helper and uh all right let's see if i can take delver out get a bit more hide um, I don't have a whole lot longer in my recording today, but I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and see what I can get done. So, uh, I'll be back in a bit and we're back and I'm back here over at my base and, uh, it's actually the next day in real life from we from the last scene, uh, because I ran out of recording time yesterday and, uh, th that's why there was no video up. Well, Yesterday for me is today for you, or tomorrow, two days ago for... Anyway, uh, that, that's why there wasn't a video yesterday for you guys, because I ran out of recording time the day before, and couldn't get a full episode recorded because of the time it took to tame this, one, this, this, this little girl up. But uh, in any case, so I've tried a bit off camera to... Uh, get her into here as you may notice the gate is not exactly in the same place as it was before i actually like where it is now even better because there's no rocks sticking up right over there but i i uh, i removed the gate tried to use a combination of planks and wood and like like buildings materials and all to get her in there and she just won't fit she gets stuck right here, trying to get through this little crack here, even up there where you would think she'd be able to go through, but she can't. So I've decided that what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to rename her uh, options, change name. Uh, we are going to call her Florence, um, random name off the top of my head, but we're going to take her to the southern peninsula where the uh where the uh flint rocks are that i uh often gather flint and uh we're going to keep her down there i uh, i know it's a little bit of ways but we'll keep her on neutral we'll build a little pin for her um but uh i've also modified the raft just a little bit putting some uh storage boxes over here uh but we're going to take her down to the Southern Peninsula and we're going to use her as a flint gathering uh, ankylo. And uh, also on here, I've gone ahead, I used some resources and built up another ankylo saddle because I have plenty of hide up here. And uh, I built up another ankylo saddle for uh, Castaway down on the Southern Island. And uh, we're going to take that to her on the way back. I might end up doing that off camera. But uh, right now, I'm going to head towards the southern island, and uh, I'll BRB when I'm down there. So, we're 
almost there. We're right over here a little ways, but I see something quite interesting flying in and about these trees over here. Now, I don't have a trank dart or trank bolts with me or anything, so I'm not going to be trying to tame this just yet, but... I hear something walking, but, oh. But I see something very interesting in here. My favorite flying mount. There you are. Hi! Oh, you're skittish. Did I scare you? Oh, it's a Mesopithecus. And some other things. But, uh, yeah, that was a Tapajara that I just saw there. And, uh, I didn't know they came out this far. But, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Hmm, I wonder. I don't know what's making that clicking noise. If that's the, uh, monkey right here. Or if that's something else that's more dangerous. But, uh... There is a monkey. Or there was. I hear you. I see you. And you got spooked before I could feed you. Oh, and the other one got spooked too. Oh, well. But, uh... Yeah, I'd love to tame a Tapajara if I could. Uh, they're my favorite flying mount just because of the way that they fly. They don't just fly straight. They can fly straight up, straight down, side to side. I mean, they're, they're really, really good for, like, if you're trying to build something in the air. It's amazing. But not that we're really going to be building much in the air. But, uh... Anyway, I'm going to continue taking Florence over here to the uh, the little stone island. But I wanted to talk with you guys real quick and uh, see what you guys thought about an idea I had. Now, I was saying that I wanted to get a... Hey! Are you trying to take my stuff? What'd you take? Did you take something? Come back here, Florence. I know I have you on neutral, but come here. Now stay right here. Let's go ahead and pump your weight a bit more. I want to. I'm, I'm probably just going to be pumping weight from now on on uh, Florence because I uh, because she's going to be largely a weight dino now harvesting over here. Um, her melee is pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead. I want to park her over here. I don't want her too far on that side, but I don't want her too far on that side either. Um, because uh, creatures can come out of that forest there. Um, but we are going to build her a little pin. And I'm actually, I actually am probably going to build the pin over on that side and build like a little bridge across. Um... Oh, there's a Megalodon just sitting there chilling. That's interesting. Um, actually, let's go ahead and come over this way. So what I'm considering doing is right over here on this area here. I'm considering building a bridge from right here across here to right here and uh, that wouldn't be very difficult I've done bridges before um, and of course all that I'm going to be building will be out of uh, wood but I also want to build like a little home for Florence uh, also out of wood over here that I 
that we can have her uh, uh, just, you know, there chilling so that she's more protected inside of something and things are less likely to attack her. Um, and I, there's not really that many dangerous things over here. I think the worst thing I've seen over here is a Sarko over on that island. And even uh, even when I was uh, living over here in a uh, previous series, uh, living over there, the worst I saw over here was a Sarko on this island. And I think she can handle a Sarko. But uh, I want to go ahead and gather up some wood, thatch, and fiber and start building things. I should have a decent amount already on here. So I want to go ahead and let's start crafting up. I'm going to want at least one base to start off over here. Oh, Dilo? Did the Dilo spook that? that? Come here, Dilo. You don't deserve to live. I really love these swords because they do a lot more damage than the pike. And I. Uh, oh, and I got I got a drop earlier, so that's why I've got all this. Um, actually, I could go ahead take this, put it in here, light that get off of it so I'm not you know, dying and uh, let's go ahead grab a little bit of the spark powder from over here and throw it on the fire so that it keeps burning um, I used to have all this stuff the smithy the forge and everything over here but I did actually come over here and uh, tear that down I uh, after making the raft between the last part of this episode and now. So, all right, now that I've got a foundation, I think I want to come over here and start the foundation on this side and build the bridge across from over here. Oh yeah, I can't eat while swimming. Even though in real life you could. Uh, now, where did I say I wanted to put that? Over here or over... Yeah, I want to put the bridge starting here, I believe. And heading that direction. So, let's see. I want this above the water, I believe... That is, yeah, perfect. Now I'm going to put a few more foundations over this direction. And uh, I think I'm, yeah, I'm out on wood for foundations. And then I'm going to build this direction using uh, ceilings and pillars uh, to get over to here. Now it's getting a little cold, so... I'm going to switch my gear. Oh. To this. And uh, then I'm going to get some building done off camera. And I'll be our bees. All right. So I've got it built. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little home. It's got a dino gate on one side so I can get her in and out. It's got a regular door on the other side. And it's covered completely around and the bridge goes all the way across so it's really nice and it'll help me get a lot of flint from over there all the nice but that's gonna be it for this episode i hope everybody enjoyed the episode if you did hit that like button for me and if you want to see more arc survival evolved go ahead and subscribe i'm know it all dm and as always y'all have a good day now